Hi everyone, how is it going? My name is Mario Samolio and we're talking about the workshop number 8 that is various methods of solid meshing using pattern nested. I'm currently in 6th semester of mechanical engineering at Tripoli University. So, what are we going to do today? First of all, the objective is to become familiar with creating a hex and a test mesh. For this workshop, four models of the same system are to be created. A hex 8, a hex 20, and a hex 4, type 4 sorry, and a type 10 element model is to be created. This involves creating geometry from which the meshes are created. The same constraints are applied and loading are used for each model. The results from a linear study analysis of each model are compared. We're going to determine the deformation and stress for models that have different types of solid elements, for example, hex 8 or type 4. There will be an element with E, e of 10 and times 10, 6 psi and opposite ratio of 0.3. Pressure and lung model is especially dependent and here is going to be in pattern 2015 but right now we're going to use pattern um, 2017 so we go to our folder we have here and we start pattern it's very important to have the shortcut right here in the in the folder we're working on so we can start okay so first of all you're going to go to file you will go to new and you will enter here Look as the as the, state, as the file name. So you create the key, then you will go right here in the right side. You will go to tolerance. It will be base model, and it will be ten MC MSC Nestrian and structural. And you will click OK. Then we continue. We'll have import right here in file import. And we have the look uh, dot xmt and we'll select this one. We'll select apply. We'll have right here a little a little summary about the team that had been imported. So we hit OK and then we click this will be one and it will look like this with this with the view. We'll go to group, we'll go to modify, and we will select uh rename. And the default group it will be renamed for x8 and we'll select okay so then we'll select apply or select okay then for the next step we'll go to geometry we'll go to create point and it will be extract Right here, you need to have the curve uh, selected, and you will have a parametric value of 0.5. You will turn the auto execute off, and you will select solid this one. There is 1.14. You will hit apply. You will select this one, that is 1.1.2. That one, and you will select this one. That is 1.4.2. Yeah, fine. Then we will go to increase the point size. We'll go to display geometry. And here you have it. You can change it to a number, a number five, or the the, the point you want, the size you want, the point. We we'll apply, and you see the points increase. So we will go to again to geometry. We will go to create. It will be plane, and it will be three points. Right here we have three points. We will want to select the auto execute and we will select for point one, we will select point three. For point two, we will select point one and point for point three, we will select point six and we hit apply. So you can see here a plane is created. So you need to create another one, another three points or another plane using these three points and you will select, it will be this point point 10 this point point 9 and this point point 11 and you will create it like this you have to two planes so you can continue you will go to geometry as well you will go to this you will go to solid and you will go to break you will have it as a plane and you will shape the auto execute as well 
and we will select the solid one for the solid list and the break plane list you will select plane two and you will hit apply you will select you will select yes when you can ask uh, with this message appears and we'll go again and you will select for solid list this will be this one that is solid too and from break plane list you will select this plane and you will hit apply it will you will answer yes as well and you will select this and plane one as well again in order to have the upper and the lower so you can continue from here you will go to group you will go to create you will go to a new and new new group name and it will be name as step four you will hit apply you will hit cancel you will go to geometry it will be conform you will have solid and you will have inflate you will select the four solids in the group hex 8 and then you will select a direction vector of 0 minus 10 and 0 and then you will select you want to check the object secure is very important and you will select um, this solid in order to have it like the hex 8 and you will hit apply as you see here you have two new groups as well then you will go to create as well create a new group you will enter your group name as Tab 10 and you will hit apply and then cancel. And here as well, you will go to geometry, conform, solid, and translate. And you will enter here a direction vector of 15 minus 10, 0. You will check this one and you will select you will select these four solids as well. They are the ones of the hex 8. And you have another group. As you can see here you have three different groups, one X8, one TED4, and one TED10. We'll go to group, post, and we'll select X8. We'll go apply and cancel. And cancel. As you see here, it will want to change because we're only working with the X8 right now. You will go to ECB1. And you'll have TP. In order to have it complete like that. Then you will go to uh, geometry, create, extract. Now you have to create geometry, create, it will be a point, and you will have it in extract. Remember to have it secure. You have a parametric position of 0.5, and you will select the five edges. Now you are working with. You will select this one that is solid 7.5.3. You will select this one, select this one, select this one, you will apply. You will select this one, you will apply. You will select this one right here. And you will hit apply. You will select this one, this right here. You will hit apply, and you will select this one right here, and you will hit apply. As you can see here, the the points are being created. I created these points, these points right here, these points, these points, and these points, and these points as well. When you do that, you can continue. You will go to create to create as well. You will go to point and you will change this one to arc center now you're in now that you're in arc center you need to keep in mind this auto execute box for instructed for this case and i will select this curve this one that is 6.2.2 i'll hit apply and this one that is 6.5.2 and i'll hit apply As you can see here two new points are being created so for our next step, we'll go to geometry, create plane, and three points. Point right here. The points will we will be selecting for this new plane. It will be 
this point in point one one four five uh, you need to be sure your auto skill is not checked you will put this one that is point 150 and this point that is 146 and you will hit apply you have a plane right there and for the, your new case you need to make another plane for this new plane you will select this point as point one you will select this point as point two and you will select this point as point three and you have here you have this point pointing downwards and you will go as well and you will go to this you will go to this uh, solid and break you have the loop you have here solid and you have this break for the points for the solid list we will select the bottom left portion of the solid and we will select the break plane list and we will select this plane and we will hit apply you will select yes here and we will continue we will continue to select the bottom the bottom portion that is this one and we will select this plane to continue this plane sorry to continue and we will select apply we will select yes as well now we can we can continue with our next step so for our next step we will go to create we will go to point and we will go to project project we will go to we'll have everything here in the point list we will select select the we will select this point no we will select sorry We'll select this point and the cube list will select this cube and we'll hit apply. So we hit no because we have the auto execute on that's why I told you they want to duplicate. That's why it's really important to check if your auto execute is on or off. So then we'll go to create as well. It will go to a plane and we'll have three points as well. We will select this point. We will select this point the new point we're having and we we'll select this point as well and we we'll hit and you can see here you have the new point and you can continue with that we'll go to geometry as well we'll go to this we'll go to solid and we'll go to break it will have a plane here and you will select the bottom the bottom right solid Here and we'll select the plane, this plane, that is plane five, and we'll hit apply. We'll select yes as well. And you can see here it's, it's coming to, it's coming here, and you will select apply and you will select yes and continue. And we will go to delete. Right here, we'll go to delete. We'll have to solid, and we'll select this one, and we'll select this one. There you go. We have it right now. And you can create a plane, and you will you can decrease the point of the marker if you want to, but you, you can continue like that. You will go to uh, the dip, you will go to solid, and you will go to effect, and you will have one 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 one. And here you will have you will select this solid, yes. You will select this solid, yes. You will select this solid, yes. Like this solid, and you have it like yes, and you have this solid. Yes, you have here the complete thing done, and you can continue. So, you will go to geometry as well, you will go to transform. Here, you will go to transform, yes, you will go to solid, and you will go to mirror. Here you will select um, the three points here. You will select this option, the three point for the three point for the plane, and you will select this point, this point, and this point. You can see here the construct three points as we change. You will select 
half to zero, you have rubber solid. I will unshade the outer execute and I will select everything and use the apply. We can see here has already been a mirror of the image and you can continue your next step. You will go to create, you will go to group name and you will name it as hex 20. And then you will hit apply and then cancel. Then you will go to transform solid and it will be translate translate right here you'll have a direction vector of 15 0 0 i will have the repeat count of this cube and here we will select the the all the solid from the right here and you can see here we have the complete solid then you can go and you can delete as well as the you can delete here the the planes as well you will go to you will go to delete and you can delete these planes from here the planes you can have this one and delete it this one delete it this one delete it and this one delete it and this one delete it in order to have a cleaner cleaner work then you will go to group you will go to post and you will select you will select all here in this, this section and you will here apply and then cancel you have the peak view in order to see the complete the complete four elements and you can as well reduce the point markers geometry here we can have it to the Three, for example, here and cancel. And then uh, we can go to here. You'll have the, the the four things. You have the x8, your x20, your t4, and your t10. You can continue to dimension. But first of all, we'll go to create. We will go to chord, and we'll have a three point as indicated will be type cylindrical and you will select this one you will erase this one this three you will uncheck the alt execute and you will select this one is the origin 150 you will select point on axis three this one that is 149 and you will select this one right here that is 195 in my case that is this point and you will hit apply. You can see here that your coordinate system is being constructed. All right, you can go to group, you can go to post, and you will select the hex 8 group here, this one, and you will hit apply and you will hit cancel. Then you will go to create to mesh in here to create a mesh, and you will select uh, hex. X right here, no, it's right. No, you have a solid sorry. And you will select hex, you will select easy mesh, and you will select x8. You have a global a global calculation of 0.5. You will uncheck the automatic calculation and you can continue with apply. Here, sorry, you will select the solid as an example. You, you need something to to mesh, so you hit apply. You can see here you have the mesh in in X8, and you can you will go to repeat the steps as well. You will go to post. You will select X20 in this case. You apply. You hit cancel, and here you will go to hex. You will go to hex20. You have a 0.5 calculation, and here you will select this solid. This solid, and you will hit apply. Then you will go again to. You will have this part, and you will have uh, hex 8 and hex 20. Now we go to group, we will go to post, we will select that 4. And we'll hit apply. Right now we'll hit cancel. 
it will go to meshing we will go to create here it will be create it will be a mesh it will be solid you will have right here will be ted ted mesh ted four you will erase this you right here you have the automatic calculation on in this case you will have it right here you will turn it off you will select 0.5 and you will go to assembly parameters you will check match for all the faces and you will select all the faces again and you will select close as well and right here when you said close you go as well and you select the input list you will select this input list and you have it right here and you will hit apply in order to have your, your new mesh so then we'll go to group we'll go to post we'll go to ted 10 and we'll hit apply and then cancel we are, once we are in ted 10 we'll go ahead to create mesh solid here is supposed to have ted 10 but in this case we are having as a as a dynamic test we're having this only as a display only because we have the still addition so we don't have enough capacitive nodes and elements in order to continue with the workshop as, as it is so in this case we'll use test 4 you need to raise this one in, your, in this case the automatic calculation it's on and off it doesn't matter you will select the complete list and you will change the value to 0.5 and you will do the same you will go to sample parameters you will erase this one and if, if it is unchecked you will uncheck check this and select all the solid you will see close you have this and you will select apply in this case as you're seeing we're working with a difference with our license so in this case it will erase one of the mesh so you can work with, with both of them because you, you already you already exceed the number of database objects so for example you want to work with that you will need to change the global land or in this case it will be only for display so we will continue doing all the steps but in this case we will present the correct results at the end only so let's begin so you can see here one of the mesh is that is where gets raised in this case the one of ted 4 got it raised but the one of ted 10 doesn't so we'll go to the create we'll select all and we'll hit apply you can see here all the hex are being created are correct the ones with TED are the ones that have problems. So we'll continue like that, but in this case it has the mesh has the mesh in TED 4 or in TED 10 because of our license. Right here we will going to select cancel and we'll go to elements here in the meshing. Go to elements it will be verify, will be element and will be boundaries. We'll select free edges and we'll hit apply. Right here you can see how the mesh has been has been done in this case because we don't have a mesh on, on TED4 so everything got erased because we're only verifying the quality in the free edges of the mesh we're working on so because we don't have a mesh in number in 4 so it doesn't appear is the only thing so here we go as well to equivalence it will go to all tolerance given you can see it already appeared and you will hit and you will click apply Right here you can see again we're having problems with our with our license so in this case as we already created and not it exceed the number of database objects so in this case it will erase the mesh you can see but here is the correct way of being seen in the equivalence and all the tolerance here or again we don't have a mesh in number four so it got erased and it got erased at one of ten so as well we'll go to verify element and boundaries and you can see here how it's, it's being displayed as well so right here in order to have everything again we will go to group post select all and apply because you raise the ted 10 mesh you are having problems with ted 10 so it goes directly to that to that group but in this case you will select apply and you will have all four groups again then uh, you will go to geometry here you will go to geometry that is on um, geometry here. It will go create, it will transform. You will go to court and you will go to translate. Once you are in translate, you will select the core zero that is this one. You are coordinate frame. You will have direction vector of 15, zero, zero. There's a margin of 15. And you will have 
in the creating frame list you will select create one and you will hit apply right here you will go uh, with the same steps but we'll be using here it will be using zero we'll be using here right here it will be zero minus ten and zero you will hit apply here and for the other one, you will, the only thing you will change is the coordinate frame list and you will select coordinate 2. You have the same direction vector and you will hit apply. In order to have the four coordinates you are working with, then you will go to your next step. Next step sorry. You will go to your um, EC properties. You will go to fields, special, so it's create special PCL function. And you will have the field name. The field name will be sin underscore pressure underscore hex eight. It will be text color real coordinate. It will be your coordinate system will be code number one. And your color will be you will enter sin r. And you will have it will be that you will be seen R and you will click apply, but in this case we don't have apply, so we'll hit enter. So you can see here the same pressure at hex eight has been created, and you will go to do three more that will be same pressure. X20. It will be with the same. It will be following all the steps. So in this case, you will only change the coordinate system. It will be code two. And you can see here the field. You can see here, and you will hit right here enter. And you can see that the pressure hex 20 has been created. And right here, will you select type four? We will change the coordinate system to coordinate 3 right here we'll install our function we will hit enter we don't have apply in this version so we hit enter and you can see the same pressure 4 has been created and then you can go to tab 20 or tab 10 sorry you will select your coordinate number 4 as well you will hit enter and you can see that everything has been created so then you go to loads and pcs you create the pressure element uniform you will enter hex 8 here as your new set name you will select input data right here we'll put a thousand and we'll select in pressure we'll select hex 8 and it will be okay and in select application region you will go and select this face it will be this face, it will be this face, it will be this face, and it will be this face, these four faces, and you will hit OK, and then you will hit apply. In order to have right these four right here. So then you will go to X20. And for your next step, you will do the same with, with all the four. You will go to X20 and you will put uh input date as well. You will go at thousand and you will go to pressure x20 you will select ok and for select application region in this case the thing you will be working on will be this one so you select this one you select this one this one and this one you hit add and you will hit apply make sure your pressure is in a thousand as well and you have the correct pressure right here and you will hit apply then you will go to your TED4. You will go to input data. It will be the same, a thousand. And you will have it. You will have it here in TED4. It will be the only thing changing. You hit OK. You will select application region. In this case, you will be working with. Not with this one, no. You will be working with this one. And with this one. These two. No, that one, no. This one, and you're here. 
you can see you're working with this face okay and you can apply then you do the same for tab for tab 10 you will go to input data and you will select this one and okay and so like application region in this case will be in tab one in the tab so this f and this f okay and apply you can see here we are working with the four parses and you can continue your next step. You will go to here will be create, it will be displacement, and it will be nodal. And you will select your constraint name. Your stand name, sorry, will be cons constraint. Constraint. You will select input data. Your input data will be under translation will be zero, zero, and zero, and you go and okay. And for it to like application region, you will click the surface or face icon that is this one surface or face icon, and you will select these parts. You will select this part will add it, you'll select this part, you will add it, this part, this part, this part, this part, this solid, and this solid. You will hit OK and you will hit apply. Right here you can see you're having all the constraints and all the forces being applied. So this is a fixed um this is fixed, all the four, and you have enforcer and you're trying to make it intention. So we will go to, uh, it will go to the one of properties, isotropic, you will create isotropic model input, you will go to material name is aluminum, you will input properties, you will put a, a 10E6 as elastic modulus, and you will have a position ratio of 0.3. You will hit OK and you will hit apply. You can see here aluminum has been created. So you can go to your next step. You will go to create. It will be a 3D solid. You will have the property name as solid. You will go to input properties. You will select the material aluminum. You will hit OK. And you will hit for select application region. You will select the four solids. You can see your other four solids have been selected. You hit apply, okay, and you hit apply in order to have the group here in solid. Right here, you will go to load cases. Here, load cases, load cases right here. You will go to modify them. You will click on default, and you here need to see this point, this full constraint. Press X20, press X8, press, press that 10, and press that 4. In case you're having all this, you don't need to move everything, you only need to hit, you only need to select cancel. And then you can continue. So here you go to analysis, you will go to uh, entire model full run, here will use analysis deck in order to make it less, less heavy. You will go to translation parameter, you will select the car format as small as well in order to make it less difficult for us to analyze it and you will hit ok here will be the solution type we're looking for a solution at 101 that is static and you will hit cancel and then you will hit apply right here you see where your nest has uh, your pattern has created um, and a PDF in order to be analyzed so now we need to go and be sure that our PDF has been created. So here we go here. We go in one shot for where the document, the folder we're working on, you can see here the PDF has been created. So in this case, I'm going to the to the desktop in order to go to our NAS string. So here NAS string has been created. You go to the correct folder. You have right here the PDF with the folder we're working on, and you will hit open. You will hit run. And Nestron will continue doing his job. You can see here he's been working on. And 
you don't need to wait uh, a few minutes maybe 30 seconds depending on your program if your program doesn't create the full the full objects maybe it's wrong maybe you need to change something but in this case you can see here a lot of folders have been created and you need to wait in order to to see the finish right here i have like my antivirus have the tag like a like a threat but it's pretty create exception maybe it happened you had a bass as well so got it and you can see here the how all the files have been erased you have these things that are just too important you need to see your f06 you look to um, search and you need to go for the awards warning it's Okay, if you, that is the only warning, you have no problem, and you go with the word fatal. So you have this word, it means that it doesn't uh, shape or run your PDF correctly, so you need to start again, or if something's wrong, but in this case, you don't have any problem. So, we can continue. So, you will go to here in the, in the analysis, you will XDB. If there is actual results attached with the result entities, you will select results file. Here you have it. You XDB, you will hit OK, and you will hit apply. You can see here that your attached result file has been attached. So you can go to the next step. It will be on results. You will go to create. It will be the formation. You will select display trans trans translational and you will hit display attributes right here you will go right here to display attributes you will select show on the form and you will uh, uh, uncheck show title as well and you will hit apply you can see here how the information have been uh, used, have been affecting these these pieces. So it, you can see here that your your thing will be look like will look like the same like this, like this with the mesh, including the other two that we haven't meshed because of our license. So here you can go to home and here you can go to erase the geometry in order to have it like this, to have it like the correct way or the correct analysis. Then you will go to you can hit right here, okay. You will go as well to create, it will be a fringe. You will go to stress tensor, you will bond basis, and you will hit apply. Right here, you can see the concentration of, of stress that has been working, having, having this piece. And you can go as well and look for here. You can see here that the correct, the correct way we're looking for is using this thing. You can see right here that how things are working with how it's supposed to be done. Now we take this and we can continue with our next step. So we'll go to viewport, we'll go to modify, and here you will go to rename. Rename right here. You will select default viewport and you will rename it as hex eight. Hex eight and you will hit apply okay and and then you will hit apply and then cancel and you will go again to viewport you will go to create you have new new viewport you will hit swing you will hit apply here and here you have this you will go as well as having um, you will have the test for you have apply you have another entity you will have the viewport as well as test 10 we hit apply and then you hit cancel you go to viewport you go to tile and you give it here all the all the things that you're working with you will go to um, you will go to display cord frames in display you will go to cord link frames you will post all and you will select hex8 viewport by clicking on it 
you will go to group, you will post, you will select the hex 8, and you will click apply. You can see here in the NFT view. If you finish, if you have the, if you have these following steps, you can continue your doing on your hex training tip, tip 4 and tip 10. In this case, are the things that you were working on because we don't have the complete, the complete analysis. It will be you will be looking at like this with all the complete with all the different uh, workshops or the different uh, tips you're looking for. This is the, how it's supposed to be done. But in this case, you will continue working with your hex eight, your entity hex eight. In this case, you will go to results. You will go to create, you will go to deformation, and you will select displacement trans transformational, and you will hit apply. And you can see here how it changed, and you will select a stress sensor and burn uses here in the fringe as well. Stress sensor and burn uses. How are things that we've done in the past? So you can continue. You go to all the remaining, to this one, to this one, and this one, in order to have it like that, to do the complete steps. But in this case, I will put it right here to presentation. You here, for example, you made the hex A group, and you continue doing uh, these steps, grouping post, selecting, in this case, hex 20, tab 4, tab 10. You will post, select the posting one, and in apply. Then in this case, are the things you can do with your hex A that is displaced, displacement transitional, the stress transfer upon misses, and so that apply. You will do this as steps A to F for the remaining viewpoints. And here is how it's supposed to be done. All the four scenarios with the different numbers and, and the specifications. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or any comments, please do it in the comment section below. Please give a like, subscribe, everything. I'm Manessa Mudio, I'm currently studying in six semesters, as I told you. And this is a great experience for us working in Python. And I hope you like it and hope it will help you in the future. See ya.